Michael Hurwich here for creativecow.net. Today I'm going to be talking about two new features in Autodesk 3ds Max 2009. And those features are the view cube and the steering wheel. So let me start 3ds Max here. I'll close this open a file and you'll notice in the lower left hand corner there is a steering wheel. If I bring my cursor over that steering wheel I get this first contact balloon explaining the steering wheel functions and I can choose the familiar with 3D side which is what's on now or I can go over to the new to 3D side. Let's try that and then let's try the try me. Now you'll notice that this steering wheel is following the mouse cursor wherever I go, making it very convenient to choose a function. To choose a function, just left click and hold. So I left click and I hold it and I can orbit my scene. Release the left mouse button. Let's try zoom. Again, left click and hold and I can zoom my scene release. Rewind allows me to go backwards to previous versions of the scene. Center allows me to choose a center point for the view. So I click it and I release it where I want the center to be. So center choose a place that works and release and there's the center of my scene. Notice the little downward facing triangle at the lower right of the steering wheel. Put your cursor over that, just click and release and you can choose different versions of the wheel. You can restore a center that you moved. Go home. That's the basic home position for this scene. And you can configure the wheel. So for example, if you don't always want to see the wheel in the lower left, pinned to the lower left there, you can deselect this. Click OK. Get out of this. Come back in again. open my file again and now you see there's no steering wheel pinned there. Now if I want to bring it back again I can go to views, steering wheel, toggle steering wheels or I can just use the shift W hotkey. By the way this is another place to get to that same configuration screen. And now I've got my wheel back again. This is a more complex wheel as you can see so for example it allows me to pan, click and hold and I'm panning. Here's an up down. This is a walk through. By default, it just moves it in the plane that it's in. But if you hold down the shift key, you can move it up and down as well. The look tool is as if you're standing at a fixed point and moving everything around you as opposed to the orbit tool which is you moving around a fixed point. And that takes care of all the features in this. You can also get out of the wheel by the way by clicking this little X here. Now the view cube allows you to select a view just by clicking the cube. Now notice here I can choose views here like front, back, but it's much easier to do this in the view cube. The other thing is, let me go back to the perspective view here. Notice that when I choose this, it doesn't take it out of the perspective view. So when I go here and choose a view, these are all orthographic views. There's no perspective in them. 
But when I use the view cube in the perspective view, it keeps it in the perspective view, but it just shows me that side of the scene. So it's just another convenient way of orbiting the scene. This little house icon here takes me back to my home position. You can also right click on this and it gives you some more options. So for example, you can set the current view as home or you can change over to an orthographic view. Let's try that. So now I'm in an orthographic view. If I choose front, it's going to give me an orthographic front or an orthographic right. So that's a brief introduction to two new navigation tools that can really make your work a lot faster in 3ds Max, the view cube and the steering wheel.